Lani Miko Osman is your class speaker. The Provost's uh, Selection Committee chose Lani for this honor from a group of outstanding candidates nominated by our academic programs. Lani Osman graduates today with two degrees, a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics and a Bachelor of Arts from Fairhaven College of Interdisciplinary Studies. Lani has always loved mathematics and belongs to the first cohort of students in the Computer Science Math Scholars Program, a scholarship funded by the National Science Foundation for Women in Math and Computer Science. She studied abroad in India and in Thailand in 2014, learning about environmental justice and symbolism in Eastern religions and philosophies. During her time at Western and abroad, Lani became increasingly fascinated by connections, trends, and relationships. Her concentration at Fairhaven encompasses psychology, philosophy, ecology, the connection between mind and body, and Eastern systems of thought. For her senior project, she brought these wide-ranging fields together with an exploration of the connections between mathematics and the rest of the liberal arts. At Fairhaven, Lonnie also co-taught a class on human ecology and sustainability, and she earned money by running a painting company with a fellow student. The daughter of Jody Ogata and the late John Osmond, Lonnie was valedictorian of her class at Park High School in Livingston, Montana. Today, she will talk about the importance of encompassing, embracing holistic thinking. Please welcome your class speaker, Lonnie Osmond. Thank you. Rather than take up your time by telling you about my educational journey from kindergarten to this podium, I am going to tell you a story about fireflies, those little insects which belong to the beetle family and light up at night. I grew up in a small town in Montana where there are no skyscrapers or fireflies, but deer, antelope, and elk outnumber humans. I remember seeing fireflies for the first time at my uncle's house in Minnesota, and just a few years ago, learned of the most fascinating characteristic of these deceptively simple creatures. So these bugs are known for one thing, and that's flashing. And in some parts of the world, like Southeast Asia, they don't just flash randomly, as we're used to, but somehow flash together in sync. Congregations of fireflies, tens of thousands, extending for miles down a riverbank, all flashing on and off at the exact same time. So try to picture this. Close your eyes if you would like, but imagine that it's the middle of the night and you're traveling down a river in some remote jungle in Thailand. It's completely silent, except maybe the water splashing on your canoe, and you look up and woo, woo, woo. Thousands of lights on, then off, all in sync. And you can see this for miles down the riverbank, all the trees brilliantly lit up, and then total darkness. Brilliantly lit, and then total darkness. And few Westerners knew about this until recent decades and has since captivated the interest of mathematicians like Steven Strogatz. But even today, we still don't know exactly what's going on. There are something like 10 theories, but one thing that is clear, there isn't one firefly that is making this happen. It just happens. It's as if order just materializes, as if from nothing. And this has been one of the greatest mysteries of science and goes way beyond just fireflies, but really is at the heart of questioning how planets come together to form solar systems, how consciousness emerges from neurons firing in our brain. That is, how does order come from disorder? And the idea of reductionism has been the way science has advanced 
over the last few centuries by studying the individuals, the atoms, the building blocks of our world. But what we are discovering is that this is not enough and certainly doesn't tell the whole story of what's going on. This shift from parts to the whole, from reductionism to systems thinking, has been a major theme throughout my education and what I believe will be a necessary transition if we are going to start finding systematic solutions to the problems that are defining of our time. These problems can't be solved independently of one another, but are all interrelated and interdependent. So this is really a change from thinking about things individually to how they are related to one another. A shift from a linear framework to a more holistic and ecological worldview. In our own lives, we often throw things in the garbage with little knowledge of where they will end up, buy things with no awareness from where they come, and forget how excess on one side of the world leads to scarcity on the other. It bewilders me how most of the toilets we use are filled with the same water that we drink, yet we are aware of the water crisis facing our planet and its urgency in the years to come. I really do believe we have the capability and resources to solve these problems, but in order to do so, we'll need to dramatically change the way we think about the world and our place within it. This day is undoubtedly a big turning point in all of our lives as we enter a society that is in need of a radical change of perspective. Our world is inherently interconnected, composed of systems within systems, all feeding into one another, and it's up to us to be aware of these connections. You alone get to define what has meaning, what is essential, and what to pay attention to. I urge you to keep asking questions, especially challenging those things which seem so ingrained in our way of life. Keep looking for how things are interrelated, how the problems that face our time are interconnected, and what we can do to start making systematic solutions in the way the world works. So the fireflies are really a story about all of us, about the importance of relationships and connectivity. Our lives reach out farther than we could ever know and are so intertwined to everything we are part of. Let us illuminate the path in rhythm, flash our lights in sync, because our interconnection, rather than opposition, is more perpetual, true, and powerful than what separates us. I wish you all the best in whatever your future holds. And we would like to thank everyone who has supported us along our journey. We have not gotten here alone. And thank you to everyone who is here with us today celebrating this accomplishment. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and congratulations. Thank you, Lottie, for those thoughtful remarks.